B20 VTEC with one up pistons. It's gonna have Pro 2 cams and a ported B16 head. And we will show you more. Okay, crankcase evacuation. Oftentimes it's a confused subject or neglected topic. So we will discuss on that. PCV stands for positive crankcase ventilation. PCV system is needed since every internal combustion engine has some amount of blow by past its piston rings. That increases crankcase pressure that leads to more load. Now let me show you a diagram. Now as the throttle plate is closed on idle up to even part throttle, the air demand by the engine is far more superior than the throttle plate allows. Therefore, it creates vacuum. And that's when the PCV valve is letting crankcase evacuation happen, which is a good thing for efficiency. And now at full throttle or anywhere above 80% throttle, because the air demand of the engine is, is extremely higher and the slightest restriction from the air filter means you're creating vacuum within the intake pipe. And that's the moment the valve cover gets to breathe out crankcase pressure from the small holes from the intake pipe towards the valve cover. So the OEM engineers really knew what they were doing. Now here's an interesting tidbit. Here is the rocker arm floor, which is the ground zero for the oil level on the head or in the head. All for drain tunnel that lets oil from the head drain back to the crankcase. It also dubs as the ventilation from crankcase pressure from the bottom out in the head. Now let's head over to the engine stand to the block. Now here are the four main drain tunnels on the block. On the exhaust side, there's two. And on the intake side, there's two. Oil comes up from the orifice over here. And also the, also the VTEC solenoid to the rock arms. Now let's slap the head on to make it more interesting. Now before anything, if this is good help and information for you guys, hit the like and subscribe button because soon we plan on a B20 VTEC build series, some cam degreeing, injector flow preferences, and even fuel flow discussion. We really do prefer a more knowledgeable customer base, that's why. It makes it more fun for both sides and helps you avoid unnecessary expenses. Now as we were, a little more on the importance of crankcase breathing. Here's a diagram or animation of an engine. Number one piston nearest the pulley is a top dead, as well as number four piston that's closest to the flywheel. As mentioned on the piston ring video that you can click up here, we've talked about when the piston goes down, it pushes the column of air underneath it downwards. And as pistons two and three goes up, it pulls air from underneath it. And again, as pistons number two and three goes down, it pushes air downwards to make space. That's just one revolution. So imagine at 5,000 RPMs, the turbulence is just crazy, right? And that's not even adding the pressure gained from the slight blow by going past the rings. And that is why when you pull the breather hose from the valve cover, you can feel it, the air, it's pulsing. That's because the engine has that much turbulence inside the crankcase and letting it be able to breathe just frees more power. Not really gain, but it's more like unleashing the power that already exists. That's just trapped, you know? 
Now here's the head on the block. We describe the red marker where the rocker arm floor is or the ground zero of oil. So imagine if you run first gear, full throttle. Oil might go up here. And then if you decide to continue in the second gear, it'll go up even more. So we're knowing a sock has a long third gear, imagine how high the oil levels are. This is why oil leaks from the cam seal or the distributor o-ring or even around the valve cover gasket is quite common because the oil is just way above that level and crankcase pressure tries to push up the blow by that makes oil drain a little bit more difficult and this is the lone breather from the crankcase of the d-series sock that is why it needs the most help it could get especially on high compression or forced induction setups as mentioned earlier the small hose attaches in this area onto the valve cover and it helps pull out crankcase pressure that traveled up to the cylinder head and vacuum is created through the venturi effect which is discovered by my homie giovanni battista venturi oh yeah my homie now those that want to run one up pistons for their b20 Frank's Motorsports PH are the ones who introduced them and you can order them through their Instagram account or Facebook page. Now on to the B20 block. It has better oil drain. It has one, two, three, and four on the exhaust side and two on the intake side. So six overall. So it's a lot better than our sock counterpart. We remove the two Allen plugs at the back uh, by the oil drain. This way, it gets to breathe out excessive crankcase pressure and the oil drain does not get hindered. This is the fitting that we had made to install and you can just route it into the catch can. This way, it runs more efficient with less windage loss from the crankcase pressures. We will put captions and details on this cruise run and you can visualize the PCV system working. So I hope this segment explains the positive crankcase ventilation system really well. That leads you to a better approach on your performance needs. Thank you.